Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm just your friendly person here on my channel that likes to talk about some true crime. Now for the month of January, I decided to cover the 27 Club. So every Monday and Thursday, there will be a new episode or video about a 27 Club member. And every Tuesday for this month, I will have a bonus video or a bonus upload for you guys about a death uh, related to a different celebrity non-related to the 27 Club. So if you're new here, I suggest you subscribe, turn your post notifications on to all, that way you know whenever I upload. I oh, I upload Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday every week at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about Lewis Brian Hopkins Jones, or Brian Jones, as he went by. Now he's best known for being a founding member of the Rolling Stones. And unfortunately, for the world and for the music industry, at around midnight on the 3rd of July in 1969, his body would be found at the bottom of his swimming pool by his girlfriend, Anna Wallen, at his residence in Crotchford Farm. Now, he was completely motionless, and this is after Anna pulled him out of the pool, because she thought that he was just, like, pulling a prank on her, but he was indeed dead. And when the initial doctors arrived at the residence, they then would bring him to the hospital so they could announce him dead on arrival, or DOA, and now Brian Jones was 27 years old. Now, if you don't know, if a person is dead on the scene, they do have to bring them to the hospital in order to pronounce them legally dead. That is a thing that is a thing throughout, basically throughout the entire world. You have to declare them dead at the hospital, basically. Now, his death certificate had initially listed his cause of death as drowning, but later it was clarified as a death by misadventure, misadventure, due to alcohol and drugs. It also was noted during his autopsy that his heart and his liver was extremely enlarged. Now, this is due to his alcohol and drug abuse that he had. He basically was abusing alcohol and drugs for years prior to his death, so it's not uncommon for his heart to be his heart or his liver to be extremely enlarged due to this abuse he was doing to his body. His death came after he left the Rolling Stones, uh, which was a massive blow due to him being a founding member for the band. Although the odd part about it is, is that Brian Jones is that he actually didn't want to be a famous pop star. Uh, he loved playing music, but he did not want to be famous for being a pop star. I found that really interesting when I was doing research on him because, I mean, Brian Jones basically like paved the way for a lot of people, as, as did a bunch of other 27 Club members, which will we'll kind of like each one that paves the way for future musical acts. They all play a key role in the music industry, and Brian Jones is one of them. Even, even though he was so talented, sometimes that talent can lead to someone's demise. And unfortunately, I think that's really what led him to it. That's my own personal opinion. You can hate on me all you want, but the most talented of people, that lifestyle they live because of that talent tends to lead, like, lead them astray or askew from the life that they wanted. And sometimes it just negatively affects them in a way that they go to, in his case, drugs or alcohol, to lessen the fame that he has in himself. Also, what is odd is that there are so many theories, or there's still theories, that someone killed Brian, but all of those thoughts had kind of, like, failed to pan out. Like, there are some things here and there I'll kind of, like, discuss in a little bit, but the night that he died, or we'll say the morning he died, he wasn't the only one home. Frank Thorogood, Anna Wallen, and Jeanette Lawson were all present at his home the night that he died, but they unknowingly noticed his body due to how inebriated they were. There is a thought that Frank actually killed Brian after he held him underwater until he died. Tom Kellick, or Kellick, Tom Keelock? Tom Keelock, that's, that's how you pronounce his last name, uh, which is the band's fix-it guy. Um, he admitted to what happened to Brian on the 40th anniversary of Brian's death before he died as well. Which is also kind of odd because he wasn't even present at the home. His girlfriend Jeanette was. So basically what he said before he died is that Frank is the one that held him underneath the water and basically killed him. That's apparently what he, what he admitted to. All in all, 
the case of his death has been closed and solved for many years. They leave it as a misadventure due to alcohol and drugs. Um, also, another fact about his death is that him and Jim Morrison actually died on the same day, but obviously years apart. And I just I found it really interesting because Jim Morrison is also another member of the 27 Club. Uh, what are your thoughts on the death of Brian Jones? Leave them in the comments down below. I would love to know what you have to think about his death. And I will see you guys in my next upload.